Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to purchase Elongate using Trust Wallet and PancakeSwap. I'm going to be showing you guys step by step how to transfer money from an exchange like Coinbase and Binance over to your Trust Wallet so you're able to purchase Elongate using PancakeSwap. It's actually quite easy to do. It takes about five minutes. So just stay tuned to the video and I'll show you guys step by step what to do. So the first step that you guys want to do is you guys want to download Trust Wallet from the App Store. So just head over to the App Store and type in Trust Wallet. So you're going to head over here, search. Then just search for Trust Wallet. And it'll just be this first one right here, Trusts, and then the Crypto and Bitcoin Wallet. So you just want to download that first. Then obviously you want to make sure that you have Binance or Coinbase or an exchange of some sort, uh, and then create accounts on Binance, which is pretty straightforward. Most of you guys probably already have that or at an exchange that you guys at least have access to. Uh, so I'll just leave that as it is. So just make sure you guys download the Trust Wallet first. Uh, once you guys do that, you can exit out of here and open up Trust Wallet. You'll then be greeted with this right here to create a new wallet. So you're going to want to go ahead and click on to create a new wallet. And then it's going to let you know here that you have to back up your wallet now. And you will see 12 words that allows you to recover your wallet in the next step. So you just got to click on the bottom here that I understand that if I lose the recovery words, I will not be able to access my wallet. So it's very, very important that you guys do not lose these words or else you will lose access to your wallet. And I do not recommend taking a screenshot either. I recommend just writing it down on a piece of paper and putting it in a safe place. Uh, anyhow, you just want to click on I understand for that and then continue. Then here is your 12 words that you cannot show anyone or anything like that. I'm obviously not going to use this account. That's why I'm okay showing it. Uh, but these are the words that you guys want to write down and keep them in a safe place or else you could lose all your cryptocurrencies that you have in your wallet. Very, very important. Uh, anyhow, once you're done writing this stuff down, you can click on continue. And then you have to put the words in here to verify the recovery phrase. So just make sure you guys go ahead and do that. And then once you guys put those words in and in the right order, you will see this message here that your wallet was successfully created. That's exactly what you want to see. So you just want to go ahead and click on, on OK here. And then what you guys want to do next is you want to transfer over BNB or Smart Chain here. So you're going to have to go to an exchange that you either can purchase BNB or Smart Chain or you already have some in. So I'm just going to show you guys Binance, for example. So we're just going to exit out of here and head over to Binance Exchange. And what you guys want to do on here is you want to either purchase BNB or uh, you could trade it from another crypto into it. So uh, if you guys don't have anything in here yet, you guys first want to obviously create an account on Binance, but I'm going to assume you guys have already done that. Uh, so once you guys are done doing that, you just want to go to a deposit option here. So whether it's a bank transfer or a Visa or MasterCard, you can go ahead and click on that. Once you guys are in here, you guys can just go over to where it says buy. And you just want to switch this over to BNB. And then you just want to choose the amount from your native currency that you guys want to transfer into uh, BNB. So let's just say if I wanted to do $500, I can type in $500 and then it will give me 0.73 BNB. Now, if you're okay with this, you can just click on continue at the bottom and then it will go into your Binance wallet. Now to withdraw your BNB, you just want to go over to the bottom right corner where it says wallets, click on that. And then you just want to scroll down until you find BNB. Once you guys find BNB here, you just want to go ahead and click on it. Then you want to click on withdraw. What you guys want to do now is you guys want to exit out and back over to your trust wallet. Click on the smart chain. And then you want to click on receive, copy. And this was going to copy the address for the trust wallet. Now you're going to want to put the BNB into the smart chain because it's going to be a lot easier just to quickly transfer it into the coin that you guys are looking for. Uh, so yeah, just transfer the BNB over to the smart chain just like I did here. So you just want to back out of here back over to Binance, and then you want to click on address and paste that address right here. Now, I already have it in my whitelist, so I can just click on it, but you guys are just going to want to paste it up at the very top there. Uh, now, what you guys want to do is you guys want to click on network, and just make sure it is on the BEP20 right here that mine is on. You just want to click on confirm for that, and then you want to click on the amount that you want to transfer. So if you want to transfer all of your BNB, you just click on max, or you can click on the amount that you want to type in and just type in the amount that you want. Once you guys do that, you just want to click on withdraw at the bottom here. Once you guys click on withdraw, it should only take about a couple minutes to go over to your trust wallet. So we'll just give that a couple minutes and then you just want to head back over to your trust wallet. And once you guys have your BNB into your smart chain here, there's a couple more steps that you guys have to do before you can purchase your Elon gate. Uh, the first things first, you guys want to head over to the BSC scan website. I'll have that link in the description. You just want to search for Elon gate right here. Just type in Elon gate search. There we go. So elongate, scroll down, and then just copy this contract ID right here. Once that contract ID is copied, you guys can exit back out of here, back into your trust wallet. Then you want to go to the top right corner where you see the little emblem right there. Click on that. And then you just want to paste the contract ID into the search. 
And then you should see Elongate right here. You just want to enable Elongate, then click on Done. Now, if you just notice on the bottom of your screen here, if you don't see four options that I have on my screen, like Wallet, Browser, Dex, and Settings, you guys do have to do this next step. If you guys already have Browser here, you can skip this step. Uh, but to get Browser on you, the bottom of your app here, all you guys have to do is navigate over to the other link I have in the description. It'll bring you over to this website right here. It's just uh, the community.trustwallet.com. And what you guys have to do if you guys have an iPhone here is just scroll down and you will see this little link right here that says trust dash dash browser underscore enable. You guys are just gonna have to go click on that. And what that's gonna do, it's gonna pop up a thing asking you to click on allow or okay. And then it will bring you back over to your trust wallet here and you should have that browser option down there. And if you guys have any uh, issues with this, you guys can just always follow along on his too. And it shows you step by step what you sh exactly you should be seeing. So if you guys need more help, you guys can just follow along with this or just leave a comment down below. Otherwise, once you guys have that browser option down here, you guys are now ready to purchase Elongate. So we're just going to head over to the browser, scroll down until we find PancakeSwap. Then we're going to click on PancakeSwap. What you guys will probably have to do if you haven't already is you just have to connect your wallet to PancakeSwap. Now, if you guys see on the top right of your screen, you should see an option to click on connect. Just click on connect and then click on trust wallet and then everything should sync together automatically. And you should see your trust wallet ID in the top right corner. Once you guys have done that, you just got to go to the exchange on PancakeSwap. And to do that, you just want to click on the three lines in the top left corner and then go over to exchange. Once you guys are on exchange, you could scroll down and click on select a currency. You could then paste that same contract ID that we had pasted before into here and you should see Elongate right here. You can just go ahead and click on Elongate. And then all you guys simply have to do is make sure that your slip tolerance is on 12%. To change that to 12%, you just want to click on the three lines beside that little clock icon there and just make sure you type in 12%. Once that is done, you can exit out of here, and then you just have to type in the amount of BNB that you wanna convert over to Elongate. So you can just click on that and click on whatever your amount. Let's just say it was 0.2. You can go ahead and click on that, and then you will see the amount of Elongate that you will receive in exchange right there. Now, if you're okay with that uh, transaction, you can just go over to where it says insufficient balance for me, but it should say like continue or buy for you. You can just go ahead and click on that, and then it's gonna ask you to confirm it, and it's gonna show you more broken down uh, part of the transaction where it shows you your exchange rates and things like that. If you're okay with everything that you see right there, you can go ahead and click on confirm. And once you click on confirm, it should say the transaction has been finished or is being completed. And once that is done there, you guys can just exit out of here and go back over to your wallet. And then your Elongate should appear in your wallet in a couple minutes there. Very, very easy and simple to do. I really hope I was able to help you guys out with purchasing Elongate. If you guys need more help or anything like that, just leave comments down below. Uh, if I need to update the video or anything like that as well. Anyhow, I really hope I was able to help you guys out with buying Elongate. If this video did help you out, be sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.